So another very common question uh, for us is why do your speakers always have the port on the back? So this is where we could talk a lot about how a port works. Brief summary, um, when the bass rolls off from the woofer, we add a port to add some extra output below where the woofer is actually playing. Uh, so the speaker will be more efficient if it has a bass port on it. So the question really is, why is that on the back of the speaker and not on the front? Well, uh, when you have a port, there is a risk of some port noise. Um, when the sound is being pushed back and forth in the port, uh, the design of the port uh, really affects how that air moves around the edges, for instance, of the port. Uh, and depending on the sound pressure, depending on how loud you're playing, you, you can get some sort of, of excessive noise from the port. So we don't really want to hear that. Uh, you can also have some mid-range frequencies coming out through the port because you now have that opening in, in the box. And you also don't really want that to be uh, part of the sound that, that reaches you. So basically by having the port on the back, those excess noises um, is a lot less audible because they typically happen at higher frequencies. So they won't wrap around and, and reach the listener if the port is on the back. But really the interesting part about this question is why do people ask the question? And that's typically because you want to place the speaker close to a wall. Uh, and then the, the misconception, uh, the common myth is that if the port is on the back, you can't put the speaker close to the wall. But that's not actually the case. Uh, so what happens is as long as the distance between the back of the speaker and the wall is more than the diameter of the port, the port actually functions completely as it's supposed to. And this is because when sound is dispersed from the loudspeaker, it's actually dispersed like a sphere in all directions. So it doesn't actually matter where the port sits uh, because the sound from the woofer and the port will kind of blend together because of very long wavelengths of those frequencies. They blend together and disperse like a sphere. So that's why it doesn't really matter if the port is on the back or the front the sound will still be dispersed like a fear. So if you experience that a, a speaker with a port on the front is, you know, sounds better closer to a wall, that's more of a sound tuning thing. Then they decided to tune it more lean so that it sounds better close to the wall. It's not actually because of the placements of the port itself. Next question, nerd alert. Uh, how hot can a voice coil get? 